Hey guys, I'm back with another video. I've been away for a while, but I decided I'm just about to, I'm gonna come back and do these videos because there's a lot has been going on in the Big Brother house that I wanna talk about. And I actually like, I wanna hear some feedback from other people because I know a lot of times my theories aren't like fact, they aren't law. So I just wanna hear what other people are thinking. So one being, I made a video yesterday about the cookout being the microcosm of black people. And I just realized that it cut off at the very end. I didn't really say much that anybody would have missed just basically saying that, you know, you know, wrap it up. What do you think? What are your thoughts? Like, you know, drop into the comments and subscribe. So basically what has happened in the house in the last day or so kind of um, confirms my thinking that yes, the cookout is the microcosm of black people. One being the way we're engaging, the way they're, the way it's unfolding in the house, like X is at odds with Tiffany. X is mad at Tiffany because I really believe X thought he was the leader and everybody would abide by X's way and thinking and law. And so now that Tiffany has won HOH, they're like calling her an opportunist. Opportunist. Basically, they're saying she playing, she's playing for self. She's self-serving. But guess what, everybody? Only one person can win this, right? And at some point, you have to think ahead for your main game. Now, was this a good move for Tiffany's end game? I don't think so because, Tiffany, you are on everybody's radar and you already were on Big D's radar, which is kind of a laughable and a joke because Big D has no real power and is not playing the game. However, I feel like Big D is the good hype man for people like X. When X is like, yeah, Tiffany needs to go, Big D is gonna cheer him on. Although Big D did say, I'm worried about this plan because X is now saying, I should win the veto and take Alyssa's, Alyssa off just to be evil, which would be stupid X because that now makes you a real target. Even if you, if this isn't an individual veto game, if you throw it, the veto to Alyssa, everybody's gonna notice, and every everybody's gonna notice just how they noticed when the last time they threw the veto to Alyssa, or the last time when Aza threw the veto to Brittany, they're gonna notice. So, the cookout being the microcosm to me is because I feel that it is designed; it has been designed for us to divide and conquer each other, and this is no different so it worries me that what cbs is going to capture in the on oncoming weeks with how these people engage with one another like i just because big d is a loose cannon and ready to go off at tiff in any moment and tiff is not here is not here for it and she will go off again we've seen it before they already had an argument in the kitchen that didn't go well. Somehow I missed something where they made up and what they call the truce, basically. And the funny thing is, I could not be in this house because I do not have the ability to smile in anybody's face that I am not feeling. So I give them credit because it takes a special type of person to do that. Like, I really give you credit if you are able to, like, just brush something off and just keep it moving like nothing happened. I can't sweep things under the rug. I just can't. It's just, it's not in my makeup, as my mother says. And I always hate when she says, it's not my makeup. But I, I just can't. I, I, my face tells it all. Much like Alyssa says her face. Anyhow, so Tiffany will probably be on the block. And this is a double eviction. So who's going to go home? Hmm. So meanwhile, let's go back. Tiffany was trying to have a discussion with Aza. Come, you know, like she's trying to like figure out what is our end game once we get to six. Because no one has discussed it with me. So she's trying to have this discussion with Aza. And Aza's like, but let me stop you there. I did try to have a conversation with you early on. Like Aza, early on you were too emotional and up Brittany's butt. Like, too emotional to have that discussion. And Tiffany, I think, tried to bow out. I was like, look, I can't discuss game with Aza because Aza's head is not in the game. Aza is trying to get with X. Aza's trying to get an agent, I think. Aza is on this show, or either her new agent got her this gig on the show, and she's just like, well, maybe God put me in the house because to get the people to the six. Like, all right, that's your theory. 
and you know, like I, I'm here for spirituality. I, I am. I know that God does things and things are happening, but you know, you have a choice in every matter. God gave you will. If we're going on a biblical rant, you, you have will and you have choice and you can do some things, Aza, if you wanted to. I just don't think you have a strategy. And Aza knows that she hasn't played this game. She knows. Tiffany asked Aza, who do you trust in the house? And she said, um, I trust Big D. And reluctantly said, and you. Because we know you don't trust Tiffany at all. You don't trust Tiffany at all. And we know you're judging Tiffany. Like, I can tell you're judging Tiffany even when you say you're not. And she definitely doesn't. But she, it's funny, she didn't say she trusted X. But she shouldn't trust X because X uses you and you continue to want to cuddle. Like, I am not begging anybody to cuddle. And speaking of that, I didn't see this for myself, but I've heard it and it's been confirmed by three or four people that X went to Alyssa while she was sleeping and said, I love you. Say it back. Like, how creepy is that? It's like X is to Alyssa as Aza is to X. Like, y'all are crazy. Like, why? You're losing sight of things. And then it's like X wanted to blow up Tiffany um, to make her put Claire up. What difference does it make? I really think they should reveal the cookout. Like they said jokingly, welcome to the cookout. Because I think it'll make the conversation easier once whoever goes into the jury. It'll make that transition easier. And if they explain it to Claire or Alyssa, they can then go into the house and do what it do. But, you know... They're not thinking like me. And maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Let me know what your thoughts are. Maybe I'm wrong. I am i don't claim to be an aficionado on strategy of Big Brother. I just watch it for entertainment purposes. And this season has been quite entertaining. More so on the feeds than on the actual primetime show. But let me know your thoughts. Do you think the cookout is a microcosm of black people? Am I reaching? Do you think that there is a struggle between black men and black women in the house as well as outside of the house i do i think this is it comes down to the old storybook black men i mean it's why kevin samuels exists it's why kevin samuels is successful because there is a tension a struggle between black men and black women and it's unfortunate because we all we both have our own ideas of what's right versus coming together for the greater good and i think the cookout has done well at staying together and keeping it a secret for the greater good but internally there's just all these struggles happening these power struggles the tiffany and x the kai and x I want to be the leader. I want to be the leader. I'm the leader. The Tiffany and Big D, Derek F. You are a bottom B and you are a B. So it's like, can they make it to a final six? And do we really need them to make it to a final six? I mean, we know they've dominated. Do we really need them to make it to a final six? I mean, I know it's a good theory. That was a goal. So... I'm all for accomplishing goals. But do we really need them to make it to the final six? Like, tell Claire, tell Alyssa, welcome to the cookout. You've been played. So they'll go back in the house and say who's... And so then they can form their opinion of who's been playing them. And then they can then take it to the jury and say and argue a case for who they think should win when... When Dr. Will, whomever, Davon wants to be that person to interview the, the jury, which I just, I'm not here for it. I would like Danielle Reyes to do that interview because she's kind of MIA right now. I'm like, where is Danielle Reyes? Can somebody tell me where Dan- Danielle Reyes is? Because she's not on that Secret Alliance podcast anymore. Did you know that? Where is she? I know she got married or something because her last name has changed. But where is Danielle Reyes and why isn't she talking about the cookout? Now, mind you, I don't think she leaned into black spaces that much but i'm just saying but where is daniel reyes somebody let me know where's daniel reyes where is jamika where is shima where is candace i forget all where where is what's his name what's his name i can't think of his name the gay guy stylist guy marcellus where is he i want to hear from these people 
anybody, you know, like, I don't think Davon should be the host. And people in my group that I'm in, they know why I don't like Davon. I don't really think she's that great of a player. I don't think she made any real moves. But y'all, she's y'all's Black Lives Matter queen. And she can be that. But, you know, let me know your thoughts. And by the way, um, like and subscribe. And hey, if you're really interested, check out my t-shirt for the cookout. It's on Etsy. Etsy Etsy.com backslash shop backslash culture backslash papery. And papery is spelled P-A-P-E-R-I-E. But I'm going to drop that link in the description. So if you want a cookout shirt to wear on finale night and flash it, Just click on that link. All right. Till next time. Peace.